Everything slaps, guys. Everything slaps. Joe, what the hell does that even mean? That means whatever you've got. 7.5, 10.3, 12.5, 14.5, 18 inch, 20 inch, doesn't matter. Gas that bitch up and go to town on it just like when your wife comes home a little tipsy and tells you to go lock the door. So whether you're doing some backyard Recon or Nugget Patrol. All right, you got kicked out of bed for hotboxing your wife one too many times. You're in your favorite dry fire spot. Here's your homework for the week. These are a couple of, uh, I'm going to show you two different methods uh, of basically punching out on a corner. Where this comes beneficial is. Um, doing wet work with long boys so we got a 14.5 here don't ever think that you can't do certain jobs because you're limited by your hardware those are lies gas it up go to work so i got a couple of things two things i'm going to show that i like to practice and so the first one is going to be the over the shoulder boulder holder call it whatever the hell you want to and we've got our high compressed high port and then we've got our um, low port so it's going to be a modification of the low port i do this primarily when i'm taking a right hand turn um, as you can see in the intro <clears throat> tight hallways you don't want to get sucked up on either side uh, super tight but you don't want to be in that hallway for a long time either and uh, yeah, transitions are cool, but man, if you shoot better on the right, shoot on the right. So don't worry about transitions, at least not for this video. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a modification of the low port, except instead of having the stock pointed up to the sky, what I like to do is have that stock, uh, another point of contact on the top of my shoulder. And so I know where it's at at all times. When you have stuff sticking out like that and you go to turn and pivot, there's a chance you could scrape walls, knock stuff off, and now everybody knows where you're at. So you need to know where end to end is at all times. So it's on the top of the shoulder. We're approaching the corner. Just like in a previous video, what I call scooping the floorboards. Uh, never come into a room, at least the entry of a room, uh, with your gun up too high. You know, situation dictates, but what I like to do when I first come into a room is have that muzzle pointed at the floorboard and I'll follow the floorboard as I scoop it up. Because uh, it's happened to me several times in force on force training where I'll come into a room and be punched out 
and I totally missed the guy hiding by the door on the floor because I couldn't see him through my gun. So always punch out through your floorboards and scoop up. <clears throat> so that's on your shoulder as you're approaching your right hand turn. And all it is is it's going to be a punch out, a left jab, but you're gonna punch out, you're chicken winging, and then you're just gonna bring that elbow down as soon as you commit to your turn. So you're scooping, you're scooping. All right, so you're at the, the, the LCC of that turn. And now you know you're about to commit and make entry into either the, the next hallway or the room, whatever it is, right hand turn. So when you make that step to commit, you're just gonna punch out and twist, dropping that elbow, just like that. So as you come out, scooping, and even with moving, step push, punch. <clears throat> All right, so that was the over the shoulder boulder holder. The next one that we're gonna do, I don't have a fancy name for it, um, that's gonna be for left hand turns in tight spaces with long boys. And what I like to do, uh, it doesn't matter where your stop's at. Whenever I'm making a left hand turn, <coughs> excuse me, I don't really like it in the pocket because especially if it's uh, super tight spaces, what you're gonna end up doing is having to drop your barrel down and come back up anyways. For me, a general rule of thumb when it comes to tight uh, spaces, wet work type stuff, uh, I want my rifle to stay horizontal or perpendicular to the floor as much as possible. And then as far as the safety goes, the safety always stays vertical. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's on fire, but if the muzzle's up, it's on safe, safety's vertical. If the muzzle is pointed forward, well, more than likely it's because I think there's a threat or there is a threat. So it goes on fire, whether there is one or not. If the muzzle's down, safety's vertical. Safety's on safe. So that's another thing you could start working is a lot of, a lot of people trip on safeties and stuff in confined spaces and when you need it on um, we're not going to dive too far in the bushes with that but if you're training frequently um, and you're actively engaged in a situation with a potential loss of life if this gun is perpendicular with the ground it should be on fire and you should be ready to shoot mentally everything is on hot all right we got sidetracked so we're making a left hand turn what i do with my stock i will um pin it to the outside of my bicep uh without the stock protruding out the back past it so what that looks like is essentially this right here so I'm still able to move with it. Weapon is perpendicular to the ground, but then if I need to articulate this arm to navigate around uh, crap that's inside a house or structure, whatever the case may be, if you have stuff sticking out the back and you go to move an arm, we're running into that same problem again where this could start scraping walls, hitting stuff behind you that you're not aware of. And that's a no-no. So that's why that stock stays pinned to my bicep. So this hand is pushing this way to pin it. I'm vicing it. As I navigate that left hand turn, and then we're scooping the floorboards. And from here, it's just gonna be a push out and pull in. So basically your standard press out. Only this time, um, the, the reason why I do this on left hand turns is the same principle of not having the barrel down and coming up. I want this thing ready to blast at all times. And so if I'm coming around a corner, I can't shoot a bad guy if I'm like this, muzzled down. So 
from this position and with pinning it to my arm, I have it in a controlled uh, position to where if I need to get shots off like this, I can do it. So this is how we're gonna navigate the left hand turn. And then as soon as you break and you commit to that turn, punch out. So we've got the right hand turn over the shoulder, navigating that right hand turn, really watch your footwork and make sure that you're not telegraphing with your feet around the corners. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean you, they can't see you. So really blade off your stance as you approach that corner. And then when you get to that LCC, last cover and concealment of that corner, and you're fixing to commit, that's when you roll out and you snap. Same thing with the left hand. Make sure your footwork's good. For left hand turns, um, what I'll do is my uh, LCC for that turn when I'm fixing to commit, I'll, I'll short shuck it one step. And so my punch out, I usually step out with that foot so I can clear the corner and then I punch all at the same time. So you're clearing, you're clearing, just like that. Guys, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Appreciate you stopping by. As always, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Um, try these things out. See if they work for you. If not, let me know. Um, comment, like. If you could like the video, that'd be awesome. If you did like the video, share it with your friends. Really appreciate it. The channel's still steadily growing, and it's because of you guys. So, uh, appreciate you stopping by, guys. And as always, always push back. Let's